Testing audio, one, two, three. Audio check. Testing audio. Okay, there we go. Now that I have the microphone on, okay. Let's get started here. This is, uh, I have not opened any Topps Chrome Star Wars, so this is going to be kind of exciting. I know there's less cards, but uh, this is the cards from the first two seasons of The Mandalorian. So we have one autograph in this box guaranteed. Uh, the odds are not here, but uh, let's see. That's just the... Uh, Things you can, well, the packs will show us more here, but uh, excited to rip this here. Uh, I did open a couple blasters of the Mandalorian. And uh, so I'm excited to see what we can get here. Um, this would probably cost a lot more, but I don't think we can get like Harrison Ford out of here. Uh, series 2 did have Mark Hamill. I don't think he's on the checklist, but the checklist is not like 200 people, so there's a good chance of getting a decent uh, actor autograph out of this. And we get Chrome, so that's even better. So this is the Star Wars Mandalorian Vespar Edition Hobby Box. Um, you can get this online right now, I believe, still for 140 from Tops.com. My local shop, I did get this a little cheaper, so we can find one of those Tops... Uh, I think mine is a diamond uh, dealer, so they got a little bit cheaper deal. So I got this cheaper than 140. So definitely a chance to get a some Grogu. Can't get Grogu's autograph. I don't think he has a voice actor, but we'll see here. So there's. I will not open that. Okay, so we got 18 packs here, and before we get started, I'm gonna show the other variations we can get here. Let's see. It does not have. Looks like there's a chance to win something, but if you guys want to pause that and check it out later. But we're looking to get some Mandalorian fractors and other stuff here. So, yeah, I, I really enjoy the uh, TV show, especially we'll see how the Endor uh, TV show, Endor, sorry, that comes up in a couple weeks here. Uh, but there's 25 new cards plus the... Uh, uh, art of the original two series here. So we got a the client that's from the first season there. Followed by the armor unleashed. Still season one. Ooh, we got our first refractor that's going to be recruiting Khalil. Okay. It's one of the major cameos in this. And we got a Grogu's New Journey. So this is a refractor first. Refractor, and we got a Grogu Journey that looks like that's an insert. Okay, cool. So there's Luke Skywalker in the first pack. Okay. And R2-D2 with Grogu right there. I already forgot his name, but this is voiced by a famous actor, so we have a chance to get his... Uh, I think he was in the 48 Hours TV show with Eddie Murphy, the uh, movie, sorry, 48 Hours. Uh, Nick Noldy, yeah, that's right. Okay. Like, anyway. I believe that's Nick Noldy that plays that character. So he's his autograph's a chance to get that in this. So we got 18 packs here. This should not take long. I'm just going to take my time, though, and open them. I guess I didn't open much of Series 1, though, because I don't remember all these, but... Uh, do look at the Chrome ones here. We got a Legend Returns. That's Boba Fett there. Insert. And let's see. So that's an insert with Boba Fett. S234. We'll just leave it up here. And no match for the Mandalorian. Refractor. And we got a art card, looks like here. And it's going to be the Force is Strong with this little one. Refractor type card. And another Chrome one. Ooh, that spider. They're waking up the beast. My wife did not like this episode. <laughs> she hates spiders. So. With the uh, spiders there, that's one of the uh, S2 
We got two in the pack and one of the, uh, so that's collect all five art book art cards. Okay. So that's our first art card. That's the one symbol of the, uh, the beast they defeated there. If you watch the TV show that it's on his, uh, the Mandalorian on his armor there after he beat that, uh, that one beast there. That's another refractor. So I guess these are trying to sort them out here as we go. So we got two refractors, I guess one per pack. So you're gonna and a couple of the S. Let's see, these are refract. So two refractors, and we got we kind of like a storyboard type card, and we got one R card. So I think we might get only one of those per box since I collect all five. I did not read the odds there on the pack, so. You guys might know better than me if I was in the video to check that. Okay, and we got sketchy lead. Chrome card. Oh, there's another art card. So maybe there is more than one. Okay. And another this one saved by the New Republic. Ships there helped them that with those. There's another uh with a spider episode, I think. They saved them from a spider. And the next art card we got Bubba Fett Lives. Mandalorian. That's from season two. And we got the scary cat. So let's see, this is the art card. So yeah, there's five different versions of these. You can see the symbol changed. Uh, the symbol that's the Mandalorian symbol, and there's the one that uh, Mando gets on his armor there. But two different art cards. So lots of spoilers from this TV show. So hopefully she watched it. So probably giving away like half of. The plot of the uh, show so far so that one did not have a refractor i guess you count the uh art card as replacing the refractor in that pack though but we have a total of two refractors so far plus two art cards okay and we got din breaking in which is face it's kind of i guess I'm, that's on purpose the card is like that and we got another refractor which is bounty bait And a, okay, that's a different one. Okay, that's the special troopers that go after and two refractors in the same card. Let's see if that's the same pack. Unexpected Rescue, some more Mandalorians. That's in series two. Yeah, so, yeah series two, but we took out two refractors. Okay, this is the concept art card. Okay, that's our first of that. So this is the super, like, trooper type of uh, bots they sent after him. We got two refractors in this pack. When they're going through a, I believe, a base. There's a famous comedian that was in that episode there. Okay, so we got, so concept art, that was, so far only got one of those, that's from I figure what they call them, but it's like a special type of trooper that's in those. Uh, they can't use them all the time because they like overheat or something. I like, forget what they're called. Okay, and we got Grogu's connection. So it's probably a connection to the Force there. Let's see what the next one is here. And we got dropping into Trask. With a refractor. Lots of chrome in this. Making sure I don't. And we got our first armored re ready. Okay, we got a droid card here. And a refractor, it looks like there. Oh, that's one of the uh, scene cards. But the armored and ready IG 11. He had made a good uh, episode there with him. For the nurse droid, I guess they reprogrammed him. Well, actually, if you didn't see series one, he's in. Yeah, he's he, he was reprogrammed by uh, one character to be a nurse nurse droid. So he took care of Grogu and uh, like I said, I'm probably giving away all these different secrets. If you ever watched it, didn't watch the show. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> So 
So there, there happens to be a lot of these scene cards. So these are, I guess, more common than the regular base cards so far. Um, but we did get yeah, more of those than the other ones here. So we got... Okay. Like, there is a bunch of uh, styrofoam on the bottom here. So this pack... It looks like we have another 20 packs. Or not, not that far. Okay. We're about halfway done here. Curious which will be the autograph here. Grogu, new friend. Okay, that's the, uh, I believe the frog lady, I believe it was. And we got good news for Moff Gideon. Boo, we don't like Moff Gideon. Okay. <laughs> and we got another art card. This one's, this is more than I signed up for. And one of the base cards there, that's going to be a messy infiltration. So far, we got three art cards out of five. So again, this is with the Mandalorian after season two. He's wearing that on his armor there. We should get at least one numbered card out of this box here. So far, nothing crazy. I would buy this if it was like in retail too, blasters. I don't know if they're going to do that or not, but uh, might just be hobby. We'll see. Um, I didn't research every person in the checklist of autographs, but I'm hoping we get a good one here. Okay, Bubba F Brutal Assault. Bubba Fett, the return there. And we got the Scary Cat Refractor this time. We got his base before and another art card. This one's going to be Don't Worry You've Got This, the other Mandalorians. And Assassin Reborn as the Nurse Droid. Okay, so we got four out of the five art cards so far. Got another storyboard here. Story card, okay. That was a, Nurse Droid was a base card there. So the Assassin Droid and the uh, Nick Nolte character reprogrammed them to be a Nurse Droid. Okay, another Save by the Empire. It's kind of ironic there. Saved by the Empire storyboard card. And we got Fennec Fires. And our, it's another art card. This is from that train type of scene there. And we got IG-2 again. There's the concept art card. And IG-1-1. Yeah, see, that one episode in Season 2, he, he was featured a lot there. But that's our second art card, looks like. Yeah, this is... There's 25 different ones of those, and we've got our second of that. Yeah, these scene cards are like basically like a fractor, but they're not numbered at all. So there's probably variables of each type of card in here, but uh, so far we've only got, yeah, four refractors so far total. And then a bunch of the scene cards. We got two art cards. Uh, one of the armed and ready, and four of the art cards so far. So it looks like those armed and ready and the concept art so far are the harder ones to pull out of this. So we should have one autograph in here somewhere. Okay, we got Return to Most Isley. We didn't have a different version of that earlier. Ooh, we got Ahsoka in here. Yeah, it's one of the scene cards. Okay, Ahsoka meeting the Jedi. So... Mando and Ahsoka meeting each other there. And we got Armed and Ready Mandalorian. Well, by another base card, no match for the Mandalorian. Okay, I think that might be a second of that one, but Armed and Ready are second of that. Yeah, I'll do a recap of kind of cards you're going to get out of this box. So if you guys want to go pick up one on tops.com, I think they're still available. It's our first angled card like this with the uh, Mando carrying. Oh, yeah, he has Bubba Fett's armor there. Okay. It's like, wait, what does he get? Yeah, that's Bubba Fett's armor he got from that one episode. That was season. Man, I forget what's. I think that's season two. Okay, so here we go. Another base card. This is the Mandalorian takes off. With his jetpack there. 
And we got another refractor. This one's going to be success and reunited with Grogu there. The first Grogu uh, card. And we got our, I think this is our last art card, the Jedi Ahsoka Tano. Another dropping into Trask. So it looks like we got all five of the art cards. So that's good, good collation there by Tops there. You got, so far we got all five out of this box. We're getting on the bottom there, but so far we've got one of each one of them here. Might have missed a numbered card, but so far I don't see anything that's sticking out here. we got four packs there and another four packs here. We'll just put those two together. Let's see. Actually, this might have five in this stack here. We're getting down to the end of it here. Okay, we're getting close to the auto here soon. Defending Razor Crest, that's their ship there. I said that's not our auto there. It's a base, and we got a scene card. Mando's big, big save. <laughs> you got Grogu there with his arms up. That's cute. I like that card. And we got Bubba Fett, armed and ready card. Followed by another story card, which is Asuku's Ultimatum. I believe she's going to get her own TV show there. So if you collected the Series 1 and Series 2, these are basically the base cards, but they're the chrome. All these are chrome. Actually, it does say Series 2 and then the number at the end. Which I think these are all Series 2, aren't they? Let's see. This is supposed to feature Series 1 and 2, but these are all, say, Series 2 on the back. Okay. There's our last... Armed and ready there, Bubba Fett. Okay, and we got Showdown and Streets of Navarro. That was pretty cool. He picked up that weapon and started going after the stormtroopers. And we got Staring, Sailing into a tr the Trap. So they didn't know they were going for a trap, but uh, that's that's what happened there. They were, oh, we'll help Tavy here, and we got, don't worry, we've got this, a second of that card. And then we got Mando's big save again. Yeah, these scene cards are all, I mean, they're a foil, I guess you could say, card. They're not necessarily the refractor, but then we do get several different fractors of the cards too and there's probably at least a numbered card i've not seen yet but we're getting near the end here we're due for an autograph and maybe a numbered card and we got storming oh we got a numbered card let's see that's not the auto is it nope okay we got a number uh, card coming up here storming the imperial cruiser it's a cool profile card there, and we'll see what that is in a second. But our Fractor is another art card, followed by Fennec Sento Captured. That's one of the concept cards. We'll get to that in a second here. Purple, let's see. I forget what number that is, but our another art concept card. We got three of those. Okay, and the purple is going to be out of 75. It's going to be... Grossing out the kids. Okay, <laughs> there's the numbered card again. <laughs> grossing out the kids. Purple the seven. Uh, yeah, seventy five. Grossing out the kids. Okay, that's from series one, which is kind of interesting because most of the cards we've gotten are from series two in here. Okay, I guess I'll top load the numbered card in seventy five, but let's see what we got to do for an autograph here soon. Those art cards are pretty cool, but uh, okay, we got. Let's see, this is. Mm -hmm. That's from Series 2, Storming the Imperial Cruiser. Bo-Katan. Okay, that's Bo-Katan. That's right. There's a couple cards that are vertical, which is, still have the S2, which is a theme. We've got two of those, so I'm not sure if the vertical or... Let's have the same numbering, but... Okay, we're due for an auto here soon. we got down the last couple... Not last few. we got... Let's see, there's... Four packs to go after this one. 
Okay, another one from the spider. <laughs> the ice beast returns. My wife's least favorite scene there. And we got a pro, I'm sorry, a refractor here of a messy infiltration. Followed by grossing out the kids' base and delivering the asset. That's from series one. Okay, now I'm thinking about it. These are all series one, aren't they? Wait a second. Okay. Okay, that's what I was like. Wait a second. These all say series two on these ones. No, I'm like, wait, why didn't I? Okay. So these are actually all. <laughs> Apparently, I haven't opened this product in a while. So yeah, these are all series two scenes. And these are all series one. So I thought there was a difference. These actually have don't have the foil board, which is kind of interesting, but these do. Not sure why they changed the fact a little bit, but there's a lot more series two in here. I don't know if they the set was bigger, it's possible. I'll have to check that out. I, I don't know. I thought the series maybe they had the series one a smaller set. But definitely grossing out the kids was in there. We got two of that. We got the number of grossing out the kids. Okay, here we go. We got Cobb Vein or uh, Vane's Tail. Okay. It's for your three story board. And we got an IG2 there. Oh, that's our autograph. Oh, shoot. Okay, I already gave it away, but uh checking out Grief Garga. Okay, that's series one. We'll come back to the auto here. If you did not see that, you probably already did, but I'll save that to the end because I didn't catch the auto. So we'll come back and see what that is in a moment here. Let's pull a refractor here. Try to save that for the end. And we got the forging the new armor for the Mandalorian, series one. And we got plan for Fennec Shand. Followed by the Dark Troopers. That's the ones in the one concept arc. And the Escape. So both from Series 2. Okay, we got two backs to go. Then we'll re uh, well revisit the auto. If you already saw it, I do apologize. I was trying to not show it. But these cards are definitely beautiful. I hope, I mean, I know they'd be more mass produced if they're retail, but I do like the uh, Chrome Star Wars, definitely. Okay, Moff Gideon's Arrival. And we got the Mudhorn Stop. That's the one that's the feature as an armor there. That's a refractor. Get that sleeved up here. And Clan of Two, followed by the Jedi Revealed. There's. Luke. Okay, last pack, and then we'll see what the autograph is. Oh, I forgot to leave the uh, other refractor here. Okay, here we go. Battle with Beskar. Okay, yeah. And that's uh, her metal spear there fighting Ahsoka Tano. Series 2. And we got a Chrome Talking Grogu. It's a nice, I'm um, sorry, Refractor there. Followed by Recruiting Cruel and Bounty Bait. That's the last two. That's from Series 1. Sorry, Season 1. My bad. Okay, that's our last refractor. So, okay, let's see what this autograph is. It's a vertical, so that's maybe a good sign. Usually the, the main cards are vertical. Okay, 
And I think he's a famous actor, but I forget. Toro Calcion. Okay. Yeah, he's the one that was like, they had a bounty out for him, I believe. That's one of, the, I think one of the bounty hunters. Toro Calcion. Okay. <laughs> but Jake Calavani, uh, Calavil, Cavalier. Man, I'm saying it wrong. Jake Cantaval. Cantaval. Jake Cal Cantaval as... Yeah, he was one of the bounty hunters that was trying to get the uh, them to show him. It was like, I need... Uh... And then he tried to... Yeah, well, you guys should watch the episode there. But uh, he definitely was trying to be a bounty hunter. I'm not sure if he successfully uh, <laughs> finished that. You guys, uh, I don't want to give too much away from the episode. But uh, he definitely was one of the uh, main antagonists in one of the uh, episodes there. And there was the last refractor, so... Okay, he wasn't featured in the whole series, but uh, definitely had a major role in one of the episodes. So I'll have to check out the comps for that, but nice refractor um, autograph there of one of the bounty hunters. And we got the grossing out the kids, <laughs> number to 75, purple. So we got color and an auto there. Let's leave up the uh, top of the auto here. Let's see, this should be... Check that out, but... Uh... Yeah, one of the bounty hunters there, autographs, and um, it's my favorite highlights of this. I do like these art cards. We did get two of the, uh, don't worry, we've got this. Buffett Lives. Yeah, these are the art, comic book art cards. So we got two, we got a double of that one, but we got one of each one. So the collation was definitely pretty solid there for my tops. Now, apparently these are the more rare ones to get. You get these concept cards. We got three in this poppy box. And uh, we got four of the, I'm sorry, three of the Armed and Ready. We got Bubba Fett, the Mandalorian, and IG-2 there with Grogu featured. These are uh, like refractor cards. Got plenty of Series 2 cards. I'm not sure why we got more of those, but uh, these are refractors. We got, it looks like, let's see, are these mostly from Series 1? I'm going to have to check that. Okay, I guess that kind of makes it balanced there, but there I don't see the difference unless I'm missing something here. These might be collation. Okay. I guess half of these are refractors, I'm sorry. So some of these, like the uh, Enter the Dark Trooper, not all these are refractors. Okay, apparently I did not miss, I missed that. Okay, does it say refractor? Okay, so I, I kind of missed that. If you look at some of the cards, these are from series, those are all refractors from series one, and those are the base cards, whereas these are refractors from series two. That does not. I just thought these were all refractors. Okay. Apparently they're not all. <laughs> Okay, but some of these are definitely... There we go, that's a refractor. I think that's a refractor too. I wish on the baseball and, and football they say refractor on the back of them there. I think that's a hollow. So that's not... Okay, I... Th I probably missed a couple there, but these look like they're all are, are refractors. Okay, so we did get Series 2 refractors. I just missed the... Uh... So you get about... There's probably a few in here, but... Okay, overall, what do you guys think? Uh, is this worth $140 with Tops.com has it? I paid a little less because I have a Diamond uh, Certified Dealer there. Um, I definitely give this a solid B on the product. Um, if you get a really good autograph, man, you're definitely going to be wanted to get maybe a second box to check this autograph out um but it is refractor and a uh, autograph of one of the bounty hunters so that's definitely a plus there have to check out his uh cards to see what that auto goes for but uh i i do love the product overall um if i got a better autograph i'd probably give it a better grade there's only i kind of wish there's a little bit more variation there are probably four autograph i mean i'm um, four hollows in here i missed 
Actually, that's another one right there. Saved by the Republic. Just kind of check the... Uh, yeah, Mando's big save. So there are... Yeah, okay. So about a fourth of them are refractors. Um, so like out of the Series 1 and Series 2. So just the, the outside of those. And we got the, probably the most craziest grossing out the kids. Uh, Mando, <laughs> a purple card there. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed the content there. Um, I definitely enjoy opening Star Wars cards. I was born in 1977, even though I didn't go and see the first movie then. I've been a Star Wars fan ever since I was a little kid. Always looking forward to the new content and hope to end or um, series here coming out in a couple weeks is as good as The Mandalorian. And looking forward to Mandalorian Series 3 coming out here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I, I, I would definitely, if you like the content here, check this out, What what how this breaks down. And look at the checklist there. There are a good number of autographs that are in there um, that are a major. I mean, well, there's a the checklist of autographs is not huge, so you have a good chance of getting one of those um, major stars in this set. So I, I I definitely would recommend this box, even though I, my box is like a B. Maybe we'll give it a B plus because this is one of the bounty hunters uh, autographs. So I, I can't give it an A though because he's not a main character, so to speak, but. I can the only thing I, I kind of wish there was more like a even a little bit lower numbered variation of the refractors. Um, but I do enjoy these art cards, so I guess it's possible that these would replace uh, other. So those are kind of cool. Um, and the art concepts. So th those are definitely um, some of my favorite cards from this uh, box. Okay, uh, I'll end this break uh, video here. Uh, personal rip, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this live review of tops chrome uh, star wars vest car um so hope you guys have a great evening and stay safe everyone batman zfa out have a great night everyone take care